What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossmerTech.com and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about defining data and how to use variables. So let's get started. Alright, before we start coding, I'm going to explain to you guys what a data definition statement is. The statement starts off with a name, a name we give uh, a variable, then we hit space, then we give it a directive initializer. Then we hit space again and then we got to give it an initializer. So I have an example of one down here. So I use the name count1 hit space, and uh, db is our directive initializer, which is a 16-bit value, a 16-bit data type. Then we gave it a value of 1. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, I'm going to explain to you now the different data types. Our first data type here is byte. Byte is an 8-bit unsigned integer, meaning it has 8 bits, and uh, it does not have a sign like negative or positive. So sbyte here is the same thing as byte, but it has a signed meaning it has a negative or positive, and it's 8 bits. Now, word is a 16-bit unsigned integer. S word is a 16-bit signed integer, has a negative or positive. D word is a 32-bit unsigned integer. S D word has a 32-bit signed integer. F word is a 48-bit integer. Q word is a 64-bit integer. T byte is an 80-bit integer. Real 4 is a 32-bit integer. Real 8 is a 64-bit integer real 10 is an 80-bit integer. Now we're going to be working mostly with uh, the legacy data directives. The db which is an 8-bit integer, dw which is a 16-bit integer, dd which is a 32-bit integer, dq is a 64-bit integer, and dt is a 80-bit integer. So we're going to be working with uh, db today. I'm going to show you guys how to code using db and how to create a variable with db. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this is basically the same program I showed you in my last video, ASCII table and a simple math. So basically it's the same thing. The only difference is now I just added a variable here. So if you guys want to watch my last video so you could catch up, then come back to this video, feel free. But yeah, I just added a variable now. I, I named my variable count1 and it has a uh, data type db which is an 8-bit data type and I give it an integer value of 2. So my, so my variable count1 has a 8-bit value of 2. So let's look down here. So down here, uh, we're moving my variable count1 into the deal register. The reason we're doing that is because if you watch my last video, you know that when we print a character, we, it prints the value from the deal register. And to that, we're adding 48 to the deal register. The reason we're doing that is, is so we can print the character 2 here. So if you guys are confused with that, just watch my last video and you'll be caught right up. And underneath here, is the, this is the code for print the character. Move into AH2H int21h, this is the code for print the character. So it's going to print whatever is in the deal register, the value of the deal register. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit emulate here. Then I'm going to hit run. As you can see, it's really small, but it printed out the character too. That's pretty cool, right? Guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.